Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. My name is João Lima and today I will name five underrated niche fragrances. Initially, I wanted to do a 10 list, if you can say, or I wanted to name 10 underrated niche fragrances, but I then I start to think and maybe it would be too much information for just a single video and it would be definitely a very long video. So I will split this video uh, in two parts or more, who knows, maybe I will start a series underrated or hidden gem fragrances in niche and designer category. So let's do it. First, I will name a fragrance from the house of José no Mateo and the fragrance is 5. I already mentioned this fragrance on my top 10 night out fragrances and boy this oh, this is so good sexy addictive sweet not overly sweet but it's it has its sweetness it's the the accords are listed here in this golden peak floral amber and sensual musk the florals here are carnation and lily of the valley and amber more with the vanilla and benzoin and musk so seductive very versatile completely unisex try this one if you didn't now i will name a fragrance from the house of Ramon monegal and the fragrance is next to me first of all look at this beautiful presentation I love it. Here, the details. Here you also have the Ramon Monegas logo. Very, very beautiful presentation. I could name a lot, a lot of fragrances from this house that are really hidden gems like Mon Patchouli, um, Flamenco, and also the Oud line that oud line it's so so good uh, beautiful beautiful oud based fragrances there are three fragrances from the line soul of oud my favorite uh, ocean oud and oud on fire i have a soul of oud and ocean oud but i did not name them because they are more expensive and because it's a oud line maybe can be more difficult to get or to try so that's why I'm naming next to me. Next to me is again addictive, it has its sweetness also, sandalwood, vanilla, saffron, heaven. It has also rose and peach. This is so good. I think it has also oud as one of the official notes but I don't get much wood. This is more of a peach in the opening with saffron, vanilla and sandalwood. So good. The rose it's very rounded, very tamed, laying more in the background, more of a jammy rose kind of scent or note. But still check this one out. Next to me, very versatile, unisex. It's a winner. Now a fragrance from the house of Histoire de Parfum and the fragrance is Har Ambraram or I don't know uh, uh. oh yeah <laughs> sorry for that Har Ambraram wow this fragrance guys if you like animalic notes if you like daring fragrances, check this one out. This is amber, of course, but has castorium, wood, dry leather accord, saffron, I don't know if I mentioned saffron, and pff, so much more going on here. Wow, very unique, beastly performance, and hey, Look at this juice, dark, ambery, total you can see that it will be beastly. 
So guys, check this one out if you didn't. If you like challenging and emalic and amber based scents, Harem Brahm. Now, I will name a fragrance from the house of Naomi Gutsur and I already did the review of this fragrance. It was actually my very first review. It was my second video and my first review of YouTube. <laughs> Uh, and it is Or du Serre. This is mango, tobacco, honey, heaven. It also has benzoin and vanilla. Oh, she's so addictive, borderline gourmand. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. If you want to know more, Details about this fragrance, check out my review. Naomi Gutsur, Or du Serre. Actually, the house in general is very underrated. Uh, you also have Cuir Velour, which is a leather based scent, and you have others that now I don't remember, I don't record the names. Uh, Nuit de Baquilité, maybe I butchered the name. <laughs> uh, Bois d'Assise, I think. Uh, all very unique dense, complex fragrances, like this one, Or du Serre. Now, last, but surely not least, front house, from one of my favorite house, niche houses, Profumo Broma, Dulces in Fundo. Oh, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> if you love Gourmand, check this one out. This, is cream orange mousse Dulces in Fundo <laughs> it's so addictive so mouth watering this is like a of course in a new in another direction but it's like a more dense and rich Edition Blanche Edition Blanche from Chanel has the lemon this has the orange <sighs> beautiful so good in unisex amazing performance like mostly all of the profumo broma and again if you like gourmand check this one out so guys this was my part one and i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video take care ciao